uh, disappointed if he'd agreed to do it already um, and he probably should have erred on the side of caution and sense and, and have completed the handshake even though he didn't want to do it that's, that's what he's paid to do is to toe the line sometimes isn't it well he seemed to put his hand out and just walked past him I think Ever overreacted and I think he overreacted at the end of the game which I think the FA should have looked at that as well but it's all one side he was stupid Ever and I think Kenny was a bit misguided in, uh, in backing him that way but they both apologised so you know I just put draw the line under it now and, and forget it uh, I think it was badly managed I think he, it should have been thought through it should have been discussed before they went out in the first place to, to try and prevent it before it actually happened mm. but then again no one picked up on the fact that Ferdinand refused to shake his hand so where do you go with that? Well, I don't think it should have taken place to begin with handshakes should have taken place to begin with to be honest with you and uh, I think a lot of first may have some doubts of them Nothing really, because um, to be honest, I don't blame him for not shaking his hand. I don't think he's got anything to prove. I think he's just got to get on with doing his job, and you know, not in get, not in get involved in anything like that again. Hopefully, he's learned his lesson by it. Where do we go now? Well, I think it's been blown out of all proportion. Uh, that I think racism doesn't have a part in the game. However, you know, when you when you get so many people in, in one particular place, we are going to get certain elements of the football. And I think it should be to go away, basically. I just think it was bad money to begin with. Notice the FA never got upset though when Ferguson wouldn't shake hands with Arsene Wenger. I don't think there's nothing to prove to the fans. I'm just worried that in the end, because of all the past that he's getting from the press and everything, that he'll leave anyway because he'll never be the player he was before the incident happened in October. He's apologised, Danny, so if he's a good boy, he'll continue.